That's it? Give me some more. Tony, she's gonna get some more too. Okay. Hey, those are two dollars a fucking thing. Right oh wow. <laughs> I feel. I just opened the box, you know. Oh, thank you. I appreciate oh, my it. God, they're like treasure, right? They are like treasure. I want to take a picture so bad of the fucking out of boxes in there. You should. Say this is what it's worth right now. You should. I'm gonna go turn around. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? I feel like a drug dealer, but instead of like getting drugs, I'm getting tortillas. You know what? Let me go straight because the sun is hitting my face. We're gonna park somewhere really quick. This lighting sucks right now. It is so early in the morning. Oh my God. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and if you're from Chicago, you already know that there is a company that is buying all the tortillas, especially El Milagro, and reselling them on Amazon, which is outrageous because they're selling each package for 2 $3. And then everyone else that is looking for tortillas can find them. So, thank you. So, today I went on a hunt for tortillas. And good thing that I have connections everywhere, guys, because he's like, here's some tortillas. Tiffany's gonna buy a couple of more. I got those for free. I have a friend that owns a supermarket and he texts uh, Tiffany in the morning and was like, hey, we got tortillas. So I'm like, oh my God, Tiffany's like waking me up. She's like, come pick me up. Take me to the supermarket to get tortillas. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw my friend in the blog as he was handing me the tortillas but yeah this is my current situation in chicago guys it is so funny because you would never expect things to kind of vanish like that especially tortillas um so we have to go on a treasure hunt for that nowadays and um it's okay guys because at that same supermarket they have a carniceria slash restaurant slash whatever you guys know like a mexican supermarket honey we sell it all we sell carnitas tortillas tacos burritos tamales and you can do your groceries how cool is that uh so we're getting some tamales because i am hungry and of course i need my coffee and this is how i'm starting my day guys like this is my morning routine for today guys just wanted to share that with you. So let me go pick up Tiffany really quick because I was about to get into it with this older guy that literally stole my parking. Instead of stopping at the fucking stop sign, he just kept on going and then literally just parked right in front of me on the parking spot that I was going for. Let it slide. Normally I would get off the car with my baseball bat, but listen, you're like 80. I'm gonna give you a break today, okay? Let's just leave it like that. All right, guys, so let me go pick up Tiffany and we will catch up. You know what, I'm gonna take the big street because... Oh, so I guess those tortillas were not enough for Tiffany. We are in the hunt for more tortillas. Apparently there is a limit of four. So we're actually gonna go to the actual tortilla factory which is not far from here and see if we can get some tortillas because I guess businesses and people are afraid that obviously you're gonna try to resell those on Amazon. Sorry guys, the lighting is just so horrible. I'm over it right now. 
Tiffany waking me up so early. I haven't even had my coffee. Guys, look at the line just to get tortillas. Look at the line. Oh my God. Really, this is crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, this is so fucking crazy. Look at the line just to get tortillas in Chicago. All right, guys. So Tiffany convinced me to get off my bands and wait in line with her to get some tortillas at the tortilla factory. I don't know, guys. I'm only doing this for you guys. Just so you guys can see how crazy this is. I'm gonna show you. All right, guys. So this is the line of the second tortilla factory in Chicago by El Milagro. Look at the line. My current situation. Well, the line is actually not that bad compared to the other tortilla factory on 26th street in chicago i mean it is a beautiful day we're gonna try to get a box of tortillas hopefully they last <laughs> but tiffany made me do this look at tiff hi girl what's up i don't know guys we'll see i'm definitely gonna go and eat inside the restaurant well maybe while tiffany waits in line we'll see Wait till you see the line in back of me, guys. Oh my god, guys. We finally made it. Ooh. Alright, guys. So we got our tortillas. And now we're gonna end this tortilla journey by eating at El Milagro. Look how yummy this looks, guys. So good. You know what, guys? Tiffany is gonna copy me today. She was like, what are you eating? And I told her, and she's like, that sounds good. I'm gonna eat the same thing. Um, yeah, we're getting some chilaquiles. Look how yummy they look, guys. All right, guys. Here's the deal. Normally, you cannot buy a box of tortillas, but we all know we got connections, and there's nosy people trying to mind my business. Anyway, I'm here with Tef. This is so cute, guys. They have, like, nice little cubicles. And then we got, oh, let me show you guys. This is the official El Milagro bag. It's gonna be trending now, guys. I am gonna trend that. Ooh, Tiffany, what is wrong? Girl, what is wrong? Oh, girl. Stop choking on that horchata. I know it's good, girl, but hey. Hey, now. Well, I mean, um, I don't know what to say, girl. Anyway. Waiting for our food at El Milagro. Tell me if this food doesn't look good, guys. Oh my God, it was all worth it at El Milagro. Look at Tiffany already scarving down those chilaquiles. They look so yummy, guys. What's up, guys? So we were shopping at Target and we did find some cute items. Super fall. And, of course, I bought them all, and I got myself my Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. I'm here with Tiffany, my mom in the background, and my little nephew. He's just chilling, watching his iPad. But, um, I don't know, guys. I feel like some type of fucking way. And I know that we are going through hard times, you know, and I keep saying this. And I keep enforcing that everything is going to be okay because it is going to be okay but listen you know everyone deals with all their bullshit differently and i get that and i respect that but when you're in a public uh customer service type of environment you would at least expect to have a basic customer service um adequates hi how are you good morning what can i get you um not like you're standing there in front of her fucking ass and she's just like looking at you like basically you're an inconvenience for her and i'm like hi good morning how are you what you want what do i want what you want okay we're starting my morning like this no it didn't start like that for me it was more like no for me standing there for and me. not even asking me what for you me. want so i said okay let me get three shots of espresso um in a venti cup with lots of ice let me get two pumps of the pumpkin syrup uh let me get a little splash of coconut milk in there please and then you top it off with a little bit more of ice what 
what, well, if you were paying attention, you would know what I just told you. I didn't say that, but it's just like one of my pet peeves, like, I have to go out of my way and above and beyond just to make sure that you try to get my order correctly and that is just not cool like you guys know i don't fuck around with coffee i mean this coffee is all right i'm gonna drink it because shit i pay like four bucks for it and it's like literally three shots of espresso but tiffany was the one that got more attitude and i don't know tiffany just stands there i i'm i'm like listen well bitch, when i'm with my no. child don't start like i'm just not gonna start drama i'm like if somebody fucking gives me attitude and talks to me that way i'm like listen bitch first and foremost let's get things clear you don't talk to me that way you don't talk to anyone like that and i'm not like saying oh my god i'm all dead because i'm not if i'm paying money for a drink and a service i expect to get that service i'm just saying not to try to be complicated or being a bitch or anything like that but come on now like just get your shit together so just Tiffany felt some type of way yeah. and um, you know at the end of the day and then even, she even wrote um, your name wrong well I don't care like everyone writes my name incorrectly I don't care red whatever I don't give a fuck as long as my drink is good I don't care um yeah just wanted to share that with you guys i don't know just tiffany still feels some type of way i'm just like whatever it is what it is i'm gonna eat my impossible breakfast sandwich call it a fucking day go to marshall's do a little fucking like fall well, shopping to be honest and just kinda, like, you, chill. it's not i feel some type of way but you do feel I, the, but but it's okay for you to feel I some mean, type of way when i just felt very like bad negativity and bad vibes yeah i don't go out to feel like that. bitch like, like when you have that type of vibe like, I don't, like stay home bitch like when you, when you feel someone's fucking negativity and it's a fucking right. shitty ass negativity bitch stay away from me don't even make my fucking drink bitch because you know that oh it's just gonna be a shitty ass vibe and the thing is she she got lucky that i didn't say anything because i when i'm with my kid i don't say anything she did because she could be a little bit hood i'm not gonna lie you guys know, um i just stay quiet when i'm with my kid because it's a no-no like when there's kids around Around. you know I'm not gonna say anything you know but when I'm not with my kid and there's no kids around then I'm definitely gonna say so something. you go hood not hood but I will say something you know what I don't appreciate your you know I go, hood. I go hood you guys know I or go whatever hood. but I don't give a fuck I know. go hood it is what it is anyway guys I'm gonna eat this really quick we're gonna head to Marshall's and I'll see you guys in a bit What's up guys? So walking to Marshall's right now, trying to find some bougie expensive looking fall items. And I actually had to park literally far away from the store because there was a bitch. All this parking space, literally all this parking space and then parking next to me. And I'm like, bitch, really, really? And you guys know how I feel when fucking bitches do that. But anyway, we're not jumping anyone right now. We're just doing a little shopping. We're gonna keep it cool and see what we find. And remember guys, the good thing about shopping at Marshall's is that if you shop at Marshall's, let's say two days ago and you come back and you see a brand new store, there's lots of fall items, guys. I'm just gonna show you what you're missing. Like how adorable is this cute little bath bombs? Look guys slices of cake technically but they're bath bombs guys okay listen let's stop whatever we're doing how cute are those guys look at tiffany already trying like halloween pajamas but this is a family sleep pajamas and they also come in small little sizes for your kids they don't have a lot of sizes but it is so kind of cool i am loving it all right, guys. Look, this is so cute, the pumpkin. I love it. Oh my God, the witches. This is cute, look at it. Oh my God, that is cute for my fireplace. And then this one. That is cute, right? For your fireplace, yes. Oh, look at this one. No, I don't like that one. I love that one. All right, guys, this is the other Halloween fall section that they have. Handsome Devil. And then 
those are cute on top. And if you guys love coffee like me, all the pumpkin spice goodies. Look at this, guys. Ooh. Kahlua. And look at those cute um, fall Thanksgiving crates. Giftings, harvest blessings. Hello, Autumn. Those are so cute for your kitchen. Nice little decor. Without your love.